Applying particle effects is a very simple and cheap way to make your game look beautiful. So what we can do here is, let's select our ball. So we go to the scenario game object, we choose the ball, and we want to add a particle effect to it. So I'm going to right click, choose, let me think here, particle system. Okay, and once you do that, if you look at the scene, if you move your camera around by uh, uh, right clicking here and using the WASD keys, you're going to see that we have some white particles just flying forward. And that's not what we want to do right now, but if you look at the inspector, you're going to see that there are tons of settings here. So let's look at them one by one. We want to use the simplest shape for the particle system. Right now it's working like a cone, but we want to make it work like a sphere. So particles are going to go towards every angle you can imagine. So we go to the inspector in the particle system, we go to shape and change it from cone to sphere. Okay, so it looks like this, it's going to go towards every direction. The particles are lasting for too long and they are too big right now. So we're going to change with the, the start speed and the start size. As for the speed, I'm going to use one. So you see that they're already slower than before. And for the size, we can type 0 0.3. So they're going to look like this, okay? The particles are also lasting for too long. Even if we have a slow speed, they travel too much. We can just change the start lifetime from five to something like one, for example. So they just last for one second or even uh, shorter, even could be 0 0.3 or 0 0.5, for example. And then you might ask yourself, hey, uh, now the particles, uh, I don't see a lot of them. You can just go to the emission menu here and change the rate over time uh, from 10 to 50, for example. So there are going to be lots of particles and that uh, is going to make things start looking interesting. Okay, and right now the particles are just plain white, but we can change that color. We could go to start color, but there's no need to change this one. We can just go and change it by setting color by speed or color over lifetime. Okay, we could use either both of them. The simplest one is color over lifetime. So we can just select it here. Okay, we can, we're going to click on the circle for color over lifetime to activate it and choose this white rectangle here to select the color that we're going to use. Just click it and here at this knob you can just double click on it to open the color picker and choose the first color that we want. So it's going to be red. That means when the particles start they're going to be full red. Now we want another color. We can just click here on this region to add another tone. Now we double click and we can choose blue. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And finally, we can go to the last knob, which is this one. We can double click here and choose yellow. Okay, or we could choose green, for example. I think this green is going to be better. So this is how it's going to look like, okay? It's a bit trippy, it's a bit different, but uh, it's going to be interesting, okay? You can even adjust these knobs a little bit if you want to try uh, different blends for the, the way the colors are appearing, but in general you can just use red, blue and green or green and blue. The order doesn't matter too much here, okay? Now, we want to do a little test. Let's save the scene and press the play button. Notice that we are holding the ball, we can see the particle effects, but if you throw it, the particles are a bit weird, okay, because they are kind of attached to the ball. They're not, it's not working like a trail, it's not leaving a trail where it's going to. So to change this, we have to select the particle system and let's go to simulation space, it says local, but we should click here and change that to world. If you look at the scene, apparently nothing changed, however, if you play the game now, and you're holding the ball here, if you walk, you notice that it's leaving a trail of particles, okay? I'm going to throw it so it's clearer to you. So look, it's now looking like a trail, okay? Particles are being left. And to achieve an even better effect than this, you could increase the lifetime of the particles to one and a half, for example, and change the speed to 0 0.3, okay? So they're going to be very slow, but they're going to last longer, so it's going to have a beautiful effect. If you press play and you throw it, notice that they last longer and you can see that long trail uh, left behind.
Okay, and what we want to do is we just want this effect to appear uh, if the player throws the ball. If we are holding it, we don't want it to appear at first. So to do this, we are going to need a reference uh, to the particle system that we use. By the way, let's rename that to uh, trail particle. Okay, so let's make a script for the ball. Rig into the scripts folder and then select create C sharp script and name this ball. Very simple. Then I'm going to choose the ball here and attach this ball script to it like this. Okay. Now with the ball script here, I'm going to open it and then I'm going to add a public game object. Then it's going to be a trail. Let's name this trail object. Very simple. Okay. So now that we have this, we want to make a method. Uh, we, we want the trail object to start deactivated. So in the start method, I'm going to type trail object dot set active and pass false as a parameter. Okay. But if we want to activate it, uh, we could simply access the trail object and, and then setting its activation, or we could declare our own method to do this. We can just come here and type public void activate trail and between curly braces we type trail object dot set active and we pass true as a parameter here. Okay, it could look something like this. And now in the player we're going to have a reference to the ball but now we need to reference the ball script because right now we just have the game object. So I'm going to type ball with an uppercase B and leave ball with a lowercase b here. And we go to the exact moment where the ball is thrown and here we're going to type ball dot activate trail. Okay, because now this is going to reference the ball script. Let's save this. Let's go to Unity and make the necessary assignments. We're going to select the ball and bring the trail particle to the trail object here. And in the player, we need to make sure the ball is assigned again because we changed its type. So I'm going to bring the ball and drop it here and save. Now, if we press play, we're holding the ball, no particle effects are appearing, but if we click to throw it, then the particles appear. So you throw the ball and it may go inside the hoop. Now for a final effect to finish this little game, we want that if we hit the hoop, we want to, to have a huge firework of golden particle effects appearing. Let's work on this in the next video.